Sometimes in life, we don't have the opportunities we deserve because of circumstances we can't control. And it requires bravery to overcome those challenges. This is the case with Rusenga Mihigo Jamarivian. A 55-year-old man who couldn't finish his primary education when he was young but decided to return back to school in his 50s. He's visibly older than the students he studies with, most of whom can be his grandchildren. Who is this man? Why did he decide to return back to primary school? And what does he expect to get after graduation? Is his story. Every morning, Vianney wakes up early and prepares himself before going to school. His wife, Nira Safari Tamari, helps him put on his uniform. <laughs> And the man packs a small bag with school notebooks before leaving his house and going to school. It's not this first time this old man attends school. In his childhood, he attended primary school like other children, but he couldn't finish it even though it was his main wish. As they sing the national anthem and other songs before every child is allowed to go to his or her class. This is a P5 class and Vianney will enter and sit on his desk to follow his courses. As he awaits his teacher to arrive. He follows the rules and greets his teacher with enthusiasm, just like any other student. Today, the class is learning English, and Vianney is one of the most attentive students in his class. He struggles to understand what he's told mostly because of the language. I have is it a student? Is it a grad? No. Is it a grad? Back in the days when he first attended primary school, they were learning in French, and today most of the courses are taught in English. I pray for two. But even with his struggles, Vianney does everything in his power to catch up as he tries to answer questions as much as he can. His bravery encourages other students in his class to participate even more. Nyerandi Mubanzi Genevieve is the headmistress of Nyakibingo Primary School where Viani studies. Together with her team, they couldn't believe it when Viani approached them and asked to be admitted into their school at his age. He came to us and presented his wish to continue his studies because he had missed the opportunity to do so when he was young. 
we asked him if he had sufficiently thought about it, and he replied that he had talked about it with his family. We evaluated his intellectual capacity and admitted him into P5. We celebrated it because it was an indication that our education has been inclusive to everybody, whether the disabled or old people. He's a very good student. He attends school so early. He eats together with other students. He plays with them. He attends the morning gathering, and we don't see any problem with him. When the school time is over, Vianney returns home quickly, as his wife will be doing some domestic work. A sensible man, Vianney would often sit down and help her to finish what she's doing. As you can hear, Vianney has a few pigs which he plans to sell later on and secure some money to support his family and his education. Every day, he goes out to cut their favorite grasses and feed them in order to help them grow faster. Tamari has never had the opportunity to study as well. And that's one of the reasons she supported her husband when he presented her the idea of returning back to school. He told me that he wanted to return back to school and I was overjoyed. We discussed it and studying was better than his previous job. God will help us to keep this mindset up. He doesn't bother me in any way. He supports me whenever he comes back from school or when he doesn't attend school. Since Vianney returned back to school, he has encouraged a lot of people to return back to school. But his journey has had its own challenges. Mm. Viani has been lucky to have understanding friends who supported his decision, even though some of them advised his wife to burn some of his notebooks to discourage him. His vision is to keep studying as long as he can so that he can gather enough knowledge, including the use of computers and more. I have it. Can you tell me? I have it. the food. His main goal is to become a self-employed man, and to achieve that, he has plans to enroll into technical schools and learn artisan courses. <laughs> As I always say, learning never finishes. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep learning. What disturbs me is this sickness I have. I wish to get cured and continue my life unbothered. If I'm lucky enough to get a computer, I'll be very happy. I wish to continue and pursue other skills, especially technical skills, which can help me earn some money quickly. It's not necessarily that I'll be a leader or a teacher. If I manage to get the knowledge, I will use it to be self-employed. Viani has encouraged other people to attend school again and he's proud of his role in his community, given that education lowers the risk of crime rates in the society. However, he struggles to attend school and do other domestic work because of his sickness, and he would like to get advanced treatment. <laughs> Vianney 
Viviani is a testimony that age shouldn't be a limitation to achieve your dreams, even though he has to deal with various problems including his leg issues. You can help him get advanced treatment through giving life.com links, phone in description and pinned in top comments. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.